Okay, so here we have a Toshiba Portage R930. Has the same keyboard as the uh, 830 and the 730, so that, that whole line. Uh, it's also the same as the Satellite series. In fact, I've ordered a replacement keyboard. And you can see this one actually says the word Satellite. So, slightly different color, same keyboard. All I can see, as far as the difference goes, is this uh, mouse uh, on and off, which the um, Satellite keyboard does not have. Anyway, when I say defective keyboard, that's uh, inappropriate. I think it's just a damaged keyboard from uh, being six, seven years old and having it, uh, well, just being beat up, or actually five or six years old and being beat up. So uh, the question is how to remove this. Uh, and it is a bit ugly. These are glued in. So what you've got to do is get a pry tool, something like this, and you can see my pry tool is a bit damaged. So I've gone to, um, because this keyboard is toast anyway, I've gone to a small screwdriver. And what you do is just put it in around the edges, pry it up, and slide it along. We're going to go all the way around, and uh, you'll hear it sort of cracking a bit and popping a bit. And um, what I need to do is pry along here underneath the metal and get this out. Now, using a screwdriver is not the smart thing to do, but it's what I've got. And considering this thing is damaged anyway, I don't much care. So I'll get back to this, and I'll show you what it's like when it's pulled out. See if we can see that ribbon cable. Oh yeah, there it is. Right there. Okay, because I don't care about this old keyboard, I'm actually going to cut this ribbon and see what I can see underneath here. So now I have this cut, keyboard's off, garbage, and I can see here that the ribbon in fact does fold and go down underneath, which means I am going to have to take out all of the screws and see what I can do on the inside here. Let's do that now. Okay, so pop that off. And again, I'm not sure whether this has to come off or not, but I'm going to pull it all apart just because I'd rather do it all in one step than not. So pull these covers off. Ah, still screw it down. And sorry for the jerky camera, it's uh, hard to do this with one hand. There we go. Pull the disc out, pop the RAM out, and let's see where that uh, goes. See where that, see if I can find where that ribbon cable is connected to. So I just flipped it back over and I'm just trying to get this ribbon cable loose so I can tug on it a bit and see where it's connected on the bottom. There we go. I just pulled it out, so that's a problem. <laughs> You might not want to do that. So I guess that tucked back under there, and that means it goes in right there. Okay, so the ribbon cable connects right there, which means, as I suspected, I didn't have to pull the memory out, but, um, yeah, let's just go into there. So it's right there. So let's just pull this old ribbon cable out, because it's done now. <laughs> no point in worrying about it. And we'll put the new one in and see what we get. So I've got my new keyboard here, I've got the uh, ribbon out, and I'm just going to set it in place gently. So the key seems to be to tuck it under that little uh, silver chrome spot there. And let's pop it down and see if it comes out the other side. It does. There it is. So I'm pretty sure I would be able to get this ribbon uh, connected to the uh, uh, connector that's right there. However, um, it's really difficult with this bar here, and I've been fiddling with it for about five minutes. It's getting kind of annoying. It's only going to take a few minutes to take out all of the screws. So I'm going to take out all of the screws and then uh, pull this whole back off, which will then remove this uh, T-bar here, and I'll have full access to that. And that's probably the right thing to do. It's probably the official process, but um, let's find out if that works. So I learned a long time ago that you need to take the uh, screws, well, you need to lay the screws out in the order in which they've come out. So you can see here, these screws at the front, which came from the front, right here, are much smaller than the screws on the side here. And there's also one at the back that's quite small. So this is the order in which they're taken out in the rough layout, which means I can put them back in the way they were. So I have taken out all of the screws, including the two uh, in here. 
Uh, and uh, then I've just tried to pry this up, and I heard a bit of a crack, but it did come out. Uh, the big thing I had to do was to pry this off the video head here. Uh, so, was to pry this off the video head here. So, let's just pry this off now and see what we get. Okay, so after prying this, I've got this all apart except for right here. And what I've found is, pop out the uh, card holder, and there are two more screws in here. So I'll pull those out, and then hopefully this just falls off. Those screws are now out. Let's just see. Yeah, that seems much better. Okay, now we can do this gently, and I'm just going to look under it and see if there's anything under here that is attached. And there is. So I'd better, well, I don't really care about that. That's just the... Uh, PCMCIA slot, which absolutely nobody uses, uh, but on principle I won't destroy it, so I'll just be careful with it. But now I can see that ribbon cable very nicely. That ribbon connects right there. Okay, so I've got the ribbon cable through, and I'm glad I pulled this apart because it's very hard to see, but basically right here there are some clips I need to just pull out. You can see that? Maybe? Very hard to see, but just trust me, it's there. There we go. And then that will slide in quite nicely. And then I can reassemble and be done. Sorry, I know that's almost impossible to see in there. But trust me, it's there. The ribbon's squeezing in. Go, little buddy. Squeeze in. Not quite. There it is. It's in. Now I've just got to squeeze those little braces down on the sides, which I just did. With one of them, can I get the other one in? Yep, there we go. So I did have to use a pry tool, in this case just a screwdriver, to really crank those little uh, push brackets back in uh, nice and tight, uh, otherwise it was slipping back out. So at this point all we have to do is reassemble everything and I think we're on our way. Again, sorry for the jiggly camera, it's just very hard to do with one hand. That's in. That all looks happy. There we go. Yep, I think that's it. So I'm going to screw this back down. I'm going to put the drive back in. I'm going to put the memory in. There we go. Battery's back in. Memory's back in. Hard drive's back in. Let's flip it over. Power it up. I'll put the doors and things back on after I've verified it works. go Windows 10 so I haven't shorted anything out that's a good sign see if I can sign in so yes I can sign in keyboards working just fine isn't that nice if you have any questions please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca thank you have a great day bye bye